at the Academy. Our mission is creating world-class competitive scholars who will learn today, lead tomorrow, and serve in the future. My name is Dr. Pierre Lewis. I am the school principal for the Academy Charter School CTE program in Uniondale, New York, and I am here with my assistant principal. Hello, everybody. My name is Mr. Brent. I'm the assistant principal here, and I am very excited to start talking about the unique CTE programs that we have. To start off, we wanted to ask our ninth graders, um, why did you choose this high school? And just tell us a little bit about your decision. I chose this high school because I hope and now know that I'll get more educational opportunities to determine what I want to do with my future. Okay. Um, I chose this school, and just like what she said, it gives me more opportunities, and also it gives me more high school credits, so that when I when I apply for for college, it can better my career. Okay. I chose this school so it can give me more experience for like different careers in the real world. Awesome. And just what, like he said, uh, this I think the school gives me like the mo most opportunities to like pursue a job that I actually would enjoy to do in the real world. Mm -hmm. And we have our upperclassmen over here, and it has been a couple years since they made this decision. But what made you choose this high school? Um, I chose this high school um, because I felt like it gave me more opportunities, which will then play a big role in my career in the future. I chose this high school because it would give me a better chance into getting into a better college. Mm -hmm. yeah. I chose this high school because it offers, um, because it offers real life skills and experiences that can help me here in high school. Okay. okay. I chose this high school, like the other students said, that it gives you lots of opportunities and credits for more than a, high, a normal high school can give you because of these CTE programs and I'll feel like that will be good for my college resume. Mm -hmm. Very good. So one of the reasons why we wanted to share more about our program and its uniqueness is because there's a general misconception that CTE high schools lack the academic rigor than your traditional high school. And the students that you see before you, each, each of these scholars were recommended by their CTE instructors because they happen to be performing at the top of their cohort in each of those, our respective programs. Most people in the medical field don't make decisions about what type of medical field they want to get into until they're in their mid or late 20s. Mm -hmm. Has this program allowed you to have any thoughts about where specifically in the medical field you might want to be in the future? Great question. Uh, for me personally, I believe that when I first started, I wanted to be a neurosurgeon and looking at the, the different types of uh, tenacity and the diligence that you need. Mm -hmm. I felt like what best suits me is probably becoming a, a, a physician, a doctor it, it by itself, mm -hmm. or becoming a neurologist, uh, just on the basis of touching up upon what we have been learning, especially about the brain and skeletal system and how the human body as a whole is a unique uh, system. And when something is false or, or, some, or abnormally, abnormality happens, mm -hmm. Uh, everything has to be taken into account because it flows like a well-oiled machine. Some messes up and the whole machine messes up. So. Yeah. And how about you, Lynn? When I went into the medical program, I had my idea set on one career, but seeing all the different, um, you know, careers within medical, I like I'm unsure now. But I think at the end, I'll be sure on what I want to do in the future. Well, I'm going to ask the question, which I'm excited about because this is the first year that we've jumped right into our articulation agreement with the um, State University of New York through their um, Farmingdale State College um, satellite campus. And many of you guys are taking your college credit courses now and your pathways. So tell me about your experience with taking food science this year and taking medical terminology. Anyone can just hop right in. How do you feel the rigor has kicked up since you started taking those courses? 
Well, I feel like I had to study way more than before. I have to memorize each term, and sometimes they have the same meaning, mm -hmm. the same, you have to know the spelling, the correct spelling, mm -hmm. and sometimes it feels uneasy, but you have to be sure of what you do. Okay. And how about you guys? How have you been faring the food science course? Well, we have experimented with like different foods and how like the chemical reactions and like the aftermath of those like we're learning not only food about the taste but the experience mm -hmm. like the experiments. I can recall last year you guys did a capstone where you explored different industries um, that use strong technologies. What did you draw from that experience that also um, motivated you to um, make the choice and remain in the drone technology program? So when I was researching the jobs, because the capstone was to research jobs and see what they do, how much they make, I found like a lot of people use drones for real estate. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking that's really easy to do out of high school with the part 107. Yeah. And so, and plus we live in like now everybody's asking for real estate photos, like if your house doesn't have the best listing, you're not getting sold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I was thinking like, it'd be pretty easy to get into that industry. And since there's like a need for it. Okay. And how about you? Do you have any recollection um, from that research project that helped you influence, influence your decision to pick drone technology? Yes. Um, that what, field, what field was it? Um, construction. You can, we can use, um, drone technology for instruction to you can send the um, drone up into the air to survey buildings inspect buildings to see like if the buildings are are in good standing mm -hmm. when they're being built very good for these guys we know that in your courses you do a lot of programming and coding could you speak on a little bit about what specifically you might program or code? Sure. Um, we use, the main language we've been using is Python, which is one of the more simpler languages. It has a pretty concise syntax, um, and basically that means all the rules that you have to follow in order to code are pretty concise and easy to, easy to follow, and they're like in line with English. Now the pro, now the things you've been making, um, like I said in ninth grade we. Uh, we coded a game in an auto scroller where we would just press the space bar to make our character jump. Mm -hmm. And right now we're using data from the New York Times uh, internet game Wordle. Mm -hmm. um, and basically we're using this to construct a data plot, a data plot with all the results. And Python's going to do that for us automatically if we can teach it how to do it. 